right, everybody. Hey, it's Sunday afternoon. I just got out of the truck wash here at the Maverick North Little Rock Yard. And uh, about to hit the road. Got this load of steel bar I picked up Friday in Fort Smith that goes to Morristown, Tennessee. GPS says it's nine and a half hours of driving. I'm probably not going to get there all the way today because I just didn't get away early enough. That would have been the smart thing to do, but it's a short weekend anyway. I got home about, I don't know, 5 p.m. Friday, and it's uh, 11.40 now on Sunday. But my truck was super dirty. Normally the guys would have already washed it for me, but you know, I checked it into the shop, both, both the truck and the trailer. Somebody recognized me there. <laughs> I need to get on the road or I'd stop and visit. But uh, anyway, they would have had it already washed for me, but like I said, I had the trailer and the truck in the shop. They got my ABS light on the trailer fixed. Thank you very much. And they were doing just some preventative maintenance on the truck. I don't know what they did, but they had it parked out in the back lot, you know, just the gravel lot. So uh, the truck wash guy probably didn't get to it. Plus it was probably in the shop for several hours. Anyway, Luckily, I was able to get in the truck wash line a few minutes ago and uh, was able to use the vacuum and um, give it a wash because it really needed it. I hated to hit the road with it as dirty as it was, you know, because I'd been to drywall, drywall place, two of them, I think, last week. Plus, it was parked out there in the dirt lot here at Maverick, so it was it was dirty, and it had bugs. That's what it was. I've been through all those bugs down there in Louisiana. That's really what was bad. But anyway, my truck is clean. Woo! Oh man. So we're going to be hopping on I-40 East up here. That's I-40 you see right there to the right. And I would like to get somewhere between Nashville and Knoxville today. We'll see how it goes. I hope you, uh, your favorite college football team did well. I really like this time of year. You know, college football is just so much fun. It really does make our country unique, you know, if you think about it, because all of our states have schools and they get to compete against each other for pride and fun. Not every place you live uh, has that, but I really enjoy that part of the United States. It makes it a lot of fun. Well, the pilot is busy. I'm glad I don't need fuel. I've got three quarters of a tank, so I'm just gonna roll. All right, guys, I'll see you on down the road. All right, people, quick update for you. We're about to go over the I-40 Mississippi River Bridge here, leaving Arkansas and heading into Tennessee at Memphis. You can see the uh, pyramid over to the left of the bridge. 
see a few boats out the water. A little bit of a view of the downtown Memphis to the right. Well, you know, if you're from different parts of the country and you never come through this area, here's a shot for you. Gonna stay on I-40 towards Nashville. Straight ahead there in that building that's kind of a pinkish color. That's a St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Kind of a well-known uh, top-notch facility. Danny Thomas Boulevard. If you, <laughs> some of you older people remember Danny Thomas. bit of a shot of Memphis for you. Well folks, we're trying to get through Nashville on a Sunday afternoon. It's about 5.30 p.m. We're approaching the uh, fork in the freeway where you either go left 40 east or right 24. We're staying on 40. But I really didn't, I mean, there's been pretty pretty substantial amount of traffic coming through Nashville but it wasn't uh, you know to the point that it really slowed things down much so can't complain going to drive for another hour or I don't know, hour, hour and a half. I'm not real sure about that. Let's see how it goes. My GPS says we still have three hours and 50 minutes of drive time to get to the customer. So I'm still going to have you know, two or three hours to go in the morning, either way. Just depends on how much I want to drive tonight, where I can find a spot to park. Okay, more later. All right, everybody, welcome to Monday morning, 9 a.m. Eastern time. I switched over to Eastern time, about an hour ago and we're in Morristown Tennessee they went a maverick driver he probably just delivered you so I'm about a half a mile from my turn off to get to my customer which is called Meritor MCR I do not remember being to this place before, so I don't really know what to expect. I 
Had a lovely drive. So far. Alright, hopefully this is my Rockwell Drive. Yes, it is. It says it's a dead end. And they are hiring, as is everyone. All right, I'll just give you a shot into here. This is my customer here on the left, but it says, Steel Deliveries, proceed to MCR. All right. Pretty easy to get to. Here's another sign. Steel deliveries. All right, so I guess we're going down here, down the little hill. We must have a separate warehouse for this kind of product. Oh yeah, I see a, another Maverick truck that's uh, pulled through the warehouse there. Got vines hanging down from the trees there. Well, I guess this is it. There's a, another truck, not a Maverick, pulled in like he's about to go in. So I guess this is it. Alright, so... Guess I'll just kind of pull out of the way here and go kind of check in. Make sure I'm in the right place before I start untarping. Okay guys, well I've gotten untarped, unsecured and the unloader standing down there just told me to come on through. So that worked out just perfectly. You know I had two canvas tarps and one four foot drop uh, final tarp and four chains four over center binders eight coil pads looks like I might be getting a uh, an order on my tablet right now but I can't see it So I guess we get unloaded outside here. And evidently to get out of here, we go up this hill. <laughs> Okay, he's telling me to stop. I'll try to show you some unload. Okay guys, so uh, I'm in position for unloading. That's gonna be my unloader right there. He's just moving some product around. But here's the load. Five bundles of 22 and a half feet bar. So once he gets this off of there, I got five timbers to put up under here. And uh, that's it. I can close this toolbox. But yeah, evidently to get out of here, we got to go up the hill there and I guess hang a left and get back out to the road. It's just a small little warehouse. 
but uh, that's what we got. Came in from that road there and made a U-turn in through the building. I did my tarping or untarping and unsecuring just right out there outside that door. So uh, I was hoping to get a little shot here of the unload if he ever gets to it. He's still moving stuff around. I'll, I'll try to show you something in a minute. Okay, guys, my unloader, Mike, said I could film him getting a lift here, and he's already signed my paperwork. I'm just going to show you a lift. You've seen this before, but, you know, a lot of places use cranes to get this product off, but he's got uh, long forks. Guess he's guess he's going to get just one bundle at a time. So that's how it works. And you see I got one foot blocks separating the bundles. I may just throw those in my, my toolbox here. I got room. And I got plenty of them. I'll just throw them off here to the side. I don't really need them. All right, let's see. He's probably got a spot over here for him. All right, here he goes again. He's had one truck after another in here. There he goes. I'm just going to throw my wood over here. You can see this is a wood pile. <laughs> All right, guys. That's it for here. I'll be unloaded in a few minutes, and we'll see where I'm going. All right, folks. We're empty. It's 9.51 a.m. Didn't take long. And they, like I mentioned, they sent me another order. It's going to where I kind of expected to go, although I don't think I mentioned it. It's going to CMC Steel in Knoxville. It's a place I've been a couple of times before. They do rebar. And it delivers tomorrow in Bridgeton, Missouri, which is kind of, uh, a little bit northwest of St. Louis, it looked like on the map. So uh, I'm supposed to just kind of curve up through this parking lot to get back out to the road. GPS says we're about an hour and 10 minutes from uh, Shipper in Knoxville. So I'll see you next.